This is your mom's favorite show, Beer and Chill Podcast. My name is Jan. And I'm Craig. And we would really appreciate if you would stop by and listen to our show. We are talking about interesting facts about your favorite movies, games and TV shows. For example, did you know that Christopher Lee and Ian McKellen had a real life beef because Christopher Lee wanted to play Gandalf in Lord of the Rings? And many other great facts. We hope you check us out and enjoy the rest of your show. Bye bye. What's your favorite scary movie? They mostly come at night. Mostly. For God's sake, what happened to our eyes? Your suffering will be legendary even in hell. Welcome, victims, to the Horgasm Podcast. I'm Nick, and with me is my co-host, Ali. Hey! Hiya! Hiya! We're, we're back, back. Back, back. Back, Every back. time you say that, I want to go, like, the Eminem, like, guess who's back, back again. <laughs> Pretty sure I did that for our Alien episode, though, <laughs> even though that I was, like, six months have. ago. Yeah. 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 So, I can't do it every time. No. I was looking at our, like, our, our last episode was March. Mm-hmm. Before 11. before everything all kind of we got back and got into doing this and yep yeah so it's been a minute and two a month or six like, yeah you know yeah <laughs> who's counting who's I'm not counting? I'm not anymore I am not either yeah it's just you know well we learned in this um, the movie that we watched this week Psycho Gorman that what does he say time is relative or <laughs> time is a construct <laughs> yes time is a construct <laughs> I love it. It's just like, what is time? What, is it measurable? Is it really if you think about it? Like, can you measure something that's infinite? <laughs> yeah, that look it's on your too, face, I agree. It's too early to think. <laughs> that's, that's no. It's like noon. <laughs> still too early. Still too early. <laughs> still too early. No, I'm on my third cup of coffee, so that's when I start to, you know, question my existence. And I'm, I'm on my first cup of water. Yes. I would like coffee, but you know what? I don't need coffee. Oh my gosh. I'm a huge water drinker. When you left my house yesterday, I was like, you know, fucking around, cleaning, whatever. And then I sat down to play computer games and I sat at the table. It was like 8.30 and I'm like, I haven't had any water yet today. (laughs) (laughs) And it's like, this is totally TMI, but it's like to the point where my pee smells like coffee. Oh, oh yes. I've been there. (laughs) It's like, okay, okay, Al, you gotta, like, you know, figure your shit out here. So I chugged, like, a gallon of water. I was like, nice. okay, yeah, no, I feel better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it was good. Just, you know, some days you're just, like, so busy doing other things. And, like, I always carry water around with me. But, like, we were here and we were eating and drinking beer and pop. And I was like... I never grabbed a water cup. <laughs> it's so bizarre. But here we are. Yep. Yeah. Water's good. Drink your water. If you're, yes. if you're listening to this, go get some water. Get some water. Yeah. 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 That's all you need to do. F- fuel your body. You know, have a snack. Drink some water. Exercise. Stretch your legs. Stretch Anything. Your legs. Yeah. Yeah. Go for a jog. Go for a run. Yeah. Put this on. Go for a jog. Pretend listen, that a murderer is chasing you. Listen you know? to some old podcasts of yes. us. Yes. I do that definitely when I walk. It's one of my favorite things because you can just kind of like get lost in it. Oh, yes. Oh, so great. Just kind of because when I'm like, oh, I have to go another so many, you know, distance or blocks or whatever. I'm like, ugh. But you can kind of like listen to a podcast and get into it. And it's like, oh, that's actually, you know, yeah. takes your mind off of it. Oh, it's totally. Great. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope that we, idea. I hope that we, our podcast, can do that for some people exactly. who are exactly going for the walks, the exercises, working, Anything. trying, trying to sleep. Yes. I've been told that my voice puts people to sleep. So sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good thing. You oh, know, good. I, I've heard that there's celebrities like that too, like oh, Harry really? Styles, uh, the guy who plays Ron Swanson in uh, Parks and Rec. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's got one of those voices. Oh my God, Morgan Freeman. I could just listen to him read yes. me the phone book. <laughs> and I would fall immediately asleep. He's got such a smooth, velvety voice. Oh, yes. 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 <clears throat> what a good one, yeah. I do not have one of those voices. I think it's because I'm really hyperactive. 
<laughs> and I just talk, 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 talk. And I don't know. But I listen well, back on these episodes. I'm like, oh, I'm nasally. Because, you know, it's not always what you hear in your head. Oh, 100%. And, and <laughs> again, like I said, two episodes ago, I guess now. Yeah. Um, like this is, we've been doing this now for two years, yep. minus half a year. And we had things so wrong in our early episodes. We were oh missing, my God, I know. We, we were missing uh, mechanical parts. Um, my voice was recording off your mic and off my mic. Yep. Uh, my levels were bad. You couldn't hear me. You were too loud. Uh, I, it was bad. Yeah. And then we but, figured it out. And like, oh, we're exactly. missing, we're forgetting this one piece that we needed one piece that's all it took yeah <sighs> and now it's easy <laughs> now we're like, that's like we're little baby deers just stumbling our way through because audio and, vi- and like video is hard i taught myself it's how to hard. edit these yes. I, well before, also when i first started out i was editing everything yes and i kind of said fuck it mm-hmm. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. if we need to make it you know, if we need to make a cut we hit the stop button there's yep. a line that shows up I'm like okay i have to make a I've listened to it back, make a little edit there, cut it yep. when I need to, keep going. Yes. And now it's so easy. People are like, oh, I spend hours editing. I'm like, it takes me maybe half hour to an hour. You know, and I, I've i read conflicting things about that and watched conflicting things about it. There's a lot of people, I follow like podcasts, Redditors and stuff. Um, and lots of them are like, oh, you know, I edit out every, um, uh, you know, every and I did skipped that. beat, everything. For my, my long pauses, because I'm like thinking, um, um, um. Yeah. I'm like, okay, well, I'll listen back. Oh, okay, cut that out, got that out. I just stopped caring. It's like, why? <laughs> but like, why? It's, it's more, real. we're literally just sitting here at my kitchen table with cookies and coffee and water, just having a conversation. Yeah. About a movie. Yeah. And that's fun. I don't it's, know. And it keeps it real. Yeah. Keeping it real. At 2021. 2021. <laughs> Keeping it real. <laughs> Jeez. Keeping it real. 2010 was, was bad. Ooh. Ooh, you just wait. Keep it real. 2021. Here we go. <laughs> oh, exactly. But also, like, we're in October. We're in full-blown Halloween season. Woo! Spooky scary. Which, which should be the whole year, but whatever. Yeah, um, literally. And we've got on the, I think, doorstep, we have Halloween Kills. Yep. Being released. Yep. Uh, I've heard some people, they've already got some, they've seen it. They, people are, I don't know, against it a bit. Like I was talking about earlier, um, off recording. Yep. Um, one person did like a, not a review, but like a post on Facebook saying how, uh, there's too much gore and violence and Halloween kills. It's taken away. It's not what horror is. <laughs> well, it's part of it. Yeah, and that's you, what those you okay, mo- bro? And that's like, what those <laughs> movies are about. Halloween yeah. is a slasher genre. Exactly. Slasher means hack, slash, kill, gore, violence, blood. You yes. name it, that's Halloween. Similar to Friday the 13th. Similar to uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Similar to Chucky. And also, like, who cares? Like, yeah. there's gore. Yeah. That's like, literally part of the horror genre. Like, if they're like, oh, he hugged somebody so tight and it made me mad, I'd be like, yeah, that's not horror. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. I feel you. Now, if he hugged him so tight, his eyes popped out. Love that. Then we got some horror going on there. Oh. Um, can, can can we can we watch something with that? Can we petition somebody to get that in a movie? That's not a thing. People are petitioning. Literally kill somebody with kindness. Well, uh, that we'll get by. That's into <laughs> Psycho Gorman. We'll talk about that later. Um, also, I'm sure you've heard there is a Chucky TV series yes. going to be out soon. I am so excited. And I think this was, I don't know if this was planned before or after the terrible reboot movie that I haven't seen yet. I didn't like it. I haven't seen it yet. But I've, I've, uh, they took away, they took away the core of Chucky, which was killer possessing a doll through witchcraft or voodoo. Which like, I get it, but I like how they did it. I haven't seen I really you know what, see, you know what, it's on Netflix. You know what? I know. You know what? Because of this, I'm going to watch it tonight. Do it. I'm going to give my opinions of it our next recording. Good. You know, it's like I'm not saying, like the original Chucky's are some of my favorite movies. Bride of Chucky is one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, yes. But it's not bad. Like that's the thing is it's just a different kind of a movie. I don't think that changing the heart of who Chucky is because it's he's like the same sort of thing right i think like i still thought it was creepy and i don't get creeped out by movies so much but it's creepy okay 
Yeah, I liked I just, it. From, from B, and I know people have very poor opinion of that, similar to an MR of an Elm Street remake. Yep. Um, they, they, they changed the character a little too much, away right. from what we were comfortable with. Yeah. That's why I think Friday the 13th remake, reboot, did so well because they didn't change much at all with Jason. Right. They, and it's like those purists, though, that like that. Yes. You know? I just think, like, if you go in with an open mind, like, it's, it wasn't, I liked it. I, and I, oh, but good. I also love Aubrey Plaza, and I think she's so cool. Oh, and, good. like, you know, the kid is annoying as fuck, but every kid in a horror movie is annoying. Yeah. But I really liked it. I thought, like, it was a good horror movie. And, like, the original Chucky, like, I like. I thought it was interesting. But, um, <clears throat> I like the ones, like, Chucky, like, the second one and the Bride of Chucky and everything. Like, I just, I don't know. When they, like, more establish his character and everything. Well, that's the thing. That's what made it good because they, they moved away from him trying to get her a body back. Yes. By transferring his soul into a child. Yep. Which was the first three. Yep. Uh, I went more, okay, he's stuck in a doll. Oh, old flame shows up. Yeah. And now she's stuck in a doll. And yeah. now they're trying to, they're just doing murders together. Exactly. He's, he's accepted his fate. Yeah. And then they have a child together. Which yes. Which goes crazy. Yes. <laughs> uh, then they, they become gay bodies. He doesn't. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I've watched him again. But. Yeah, I, I love don't know. Him. But, but the, the, the remake just kind of avoided that so completely. And yep. just made him killer AI. Which almost turns into like a Terminator movie. It it's creepy. Well, I gotta see it, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. You're gonna oh, watch I'll watch it, it tonight. I'll watch yeah. it tonight, and we'll talk. We'll talk about it after. Of but it's like every movie. But but <laughs> but for the TV series, it's coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, looks great. Ooh. They have Brad Dourif back as the voice of Chucky. It's it's original Chucky. Mm-hmm. Basically, it's I don't know if it's a sequel, if it's a continuation of the series of the the movies. I don't know. Yeah. But he's got his you know from the other ones he was all damaged and yep. you know scarred up and stitched Love up that, because yeah. of before now he's he's clean he's he's a brand new doll cool and we got brad duraf is the voice and he kills it like his not just his voice but his his uh his wit his comedy his mannerisms yes. playing the character makes chucky absolutely and again similar to robert england as freddie exactly the first the first one was very um horror straight laced yeah it wasn't much right. For jokes, there was no, you know, welcome to primetime bitch. There's no, yes. there's less bitches in the first one as the sequels. Yeah. Because it kind of became more and more, not a parody. Right. But a little but more. more campy. Ca- yes. 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 And that was also the era. 80s and 90s was the campy era. And that's perfect. I love that. I actually watched a TikTok on that the other day. And it's like, people don't watch 80s and 90s horror movies because they're, like, amazing. No. They watch them because they're campy and they, fun. They are amazing. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah, it's, right? a different, it's a different humor, different horror, different yes. everything. Jumped into 2000s, you've got more physical, more jump scares. Yes. Um, yeah, gore, yes. sex, that yes. kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, yeah. the bar got raised. Okay, this absolutely at the end of the '90s was okay. We got the you know the screen franchise showed up, and yes. they kind of they kind of raised the bar a bit. They changed the fran- the not the franchise. They changed the the scene a bit. Mm-hmm. They made it more real, real, mm-hmm. absolutely as opposed to science or supernatural with right. Freddy, Jason, Chucky. It became real, an actual yeah. serial killer. Mm-hmm. Uh, even even Michael Myers. Yeah, he's just a normal person. Right. But he also had a bit of a supernatural feel to him. Right. Well, I think especially as the series goes on. Yeah, they kind right. of kept killing him. He kept coming back. And that timeline is a mess. Yes. It is bad. <laughs> but I think Friday the 13th is the same way. But they more, again, like made it more campy. Like yes. I think Halloween oh, yeah. tried to stick to like, oh, we're serious horror movies. They did. Arr. Yeah. And Friday the 13th is like, not them. <laughs> No. Jason's going to New York. He's going to space. <laughs> we know what we are, and they just like leaned into it, which I think is great. I think yeah, go to space. That was two thousand. Yeah, think, yeah, that was those later on. That was I, I know, it, but, but you know it, what I mean. Like they yeah. just really leaned into it, and I love that. I oh, yeah. love that about the Friday the Thirteenth franchise. I get, I get the, the the purists, the, the yeah. ones who are like, well, no, my Jason never leaves Crystal Lake. Well. Good for you. Okay. 
But you have like half the movies <laughs> that are still yours. Then, like, you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, give us something. <laughs> I know. Not single people would. I've I've talked to some people before, and we talked yeah. about it again. The Alien franchise. Mm -hmm. People like to uh, claim that the AVP movies or the prequels, even three in Resurrection, ruined the series. The, mm -hmm. the franchise is dead. And I always respond back saying, no. Mm -hmm. The franchise is dead. There have been no sequels. There have been dead right. as of Alien. Right. They keep making movies. They keep making media. There's yep. games. There's comics. There's a whole Absolutely. new comic line in Mar through Marvel. Yep. They're still relevant. Didn't that... they just come out with another game? Like another Alien yes, game? Yes. Because I just saw it on Steam. <laughs> Aliens Firestorm. Yes. Yes. It's, it's a shoot em Yeah. Up. It, it looks people, people super want... popular. It, I played it. It's fun. Yeah. It gets hard as fuck at times. Yeah. But that's why you have friends who I don't have any. What? On, I on, have all of on them. On PlayStation. Yeah, you know, I was playing with someone on PlayStation. Yeah. It's a fun game. Aw. It's a straight... It's it. very... Okay. I play it. Okay. That sounds fun. Yay. Okay. Just fun. Oh, speaking of which, I was watching a, a YouTuber play Far Cry 6, and that's a co-op game. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. You want to play with me? I'll Thank play you. some Far Cry with you. <laughs> let's go... Okay, let's cool. go. Burn Nate some fun. pimples. Yay! And Anders. There's cockfighting in the game. Set, Yay! Set, set as a Tekken, like a fighting... Stop. Yes. Like a side scroll type thing? Yes. Stop. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> well, given, there's, there's, a, there's a trailer for it on YouTube all about the chicken. Perfect. Or the cockfighting. I'll rooster. watch it. It's hilarious. <laughs> you know what else was hilarious? What? Psycho Gourmet. Oh, yeah. That was a funny, it was a, a horror comedy. It was a Canadian, a Canadian horror, horror comedy, which I did not realize. Oh, and I'm so excited to talk about it, so let's then get into it. Let's... Anyways, Alistair, this is Psycho Gorman, or PG for short. Silence! Okay. We brought you some reading material, PG, and TV to watch. Did you sleep okay? I'm sorry we didn't bring any pornos. Petty displays of wealth. How can your short lifespans allow such narcissism? Yeah, but look at all the hunky boys. I do not care for hunky boys. Or do I? All right, so this week we watch Psycho Goreman, or PG for short. PG for short. <laughs> it's a 2020 movie. And it was directed and written by Stephen Kostansky. Yep. Yeah, that feels right. Jesus, it's rated 18A. I feel that, though. That probably makes sense, right? And it was, it's a Shutter exclusive, so they could do whatever, basically, they wanted. Yeah, and with, uh, I think, a very low budget. Yeah. It was totally, it's, it's a, it's B-movie, hard, yes. B, hard B-movie. And w amazingly so. And it's a great B-movie. I really enjoyed like every moment of it honestly yeah. oh my gosh i wish uh wikipedia had more production notes because i'd love to see where they filmed how they did this and did that right uh i guess like the makeup for the um, psycho gore man took so long he was always the first one there and mm -hmm. the last one to leave because oh, for sure and he wore his makeup so much that when he had it off um they didn't recognize him they kind of would call Aww. security on him like who are you what are you doing here i'm I'm in this movie. Yeah. What role? Yeah, I'm, I'm literally the main, the main character. character. It's named <laughs> after my character. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. got, got the one actor who did the you know the the body double don't look right, and had someone else do the voice. Sure. So he dubbed over all his lines. It's, it's like uh, Darth Vader. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, of course. Which like makes sense. Oh yeah, it was a great <sighs> voice for him. Yeah. Oh, it was good. I I don't know. I enjoyed it. it. It's such a good, like, I find horror comedies can, like, dance the line of being, like, too funny or too horror -y. Like, it's hard to find that Or the jokes are forced. Yes. It's forced jokes. And this didn't yes. have anything really forced. No. Um, it's like you have the annoying kids, which, like, in every horror movie with kids, the kids are annoying, and that's just how it is. Oh, 100%. Yes. But, uh, and, but, you know, at the end, you know, they all learn a lesson and, you know, I don't know. I just liked it. I did too. I, yeah. it, was, it was a, it was the horror, it was a horror, it was a comedy, very much comedy. Yes. Um, not so, for horror wise, not scary. Yeah, not so much scary, more just gory. Gore and violence. Yes. Um, 
Even the language was not bad. No, there was a I couple, think there was one fuck. Two, there was two fucks. There's two fucks. Two fucks, a lot of frigs. Yeah, lots of frigs. A lot of frigs, but only a couple of fucks. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, and there was a shit at one point. Yeah, I think there was a shit. And I think it was like all the mom, basically, that did the, yeah, the swearing. Was. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, it was fun. Yeah. And, uh, oh, the gore was so good. Like, oh, the but it wasn't. The effects were fantastic. Like, it was all like practical effects. And the costumes of, like, there's, like, a council in it. The costumes of the council and, like, the alien races was so cool. Yeah. Like, it very akin to, like, an 80s horror movie. Oh, yeah. Like, they just went to, like, and an 80s horror closet of costumes and, yeah. like, threw shit together. Yeah. It was so neat. Yeah. I think it, that they were some of the best parts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 I think that's what's getting most of my ratings for my review of this right? because it was the effects were great the prosthetics were great yes the, um like the, the council yeah you had like uh one machine guy yeah um one guy who's like half machine half tube yep goop in a tube yep uh you got the angelic robotic overlords mm-hmm. um yeah it, it really and it's i was expecting a little bit different ending but it kind of played out yeah um <laughs> Like I said, during watching, you know, this feels like, you know, if, uh, I forget his name now, who played Ernest from the movies? Oh, right, yeah. Uh, yeah. If he was around, he would fit in this movie to a T. Mm-hmm. Like, even Ernest Scared Stupid was scarier than this movie. Mm-hmm. And they're both as fun. Right. They're both just fun movies. Um, although this was more gory, mm-hmm. whereas Ernest Scared Stupid was more slapstick. Right. But it had scenes that were scary. Right. For a child. And it's geared towards children, and mm-hmm. it was scary. Right. Well, like movie. a Halloween movie for sure, yeah. 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 Well, even like when I was a kid, Nightmare Before Christmas was creepy for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. with the Oogie Boogie, it was like, mm yeah. Nope. Like when they kidnap Santa Claus, I'm like, mm Nope. <laughs> That's can't, scary. Can't do that to Santa Claus. Yeah. Santa Claus. Yeah. I love the drawing. Just a red guy with, with lobster claws. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, or even like, what else? Like, um, Corpse Bride was sort of creepy. Yep. I was a little bit older when it came out, but it was still scary. Like, you know what? Just, I don't know. And it's just like when I was a little bit older, like it was right on the cusp. Like, I think it was like 14-ish. And, you know, like dealing with death and like all that sort of stuff. It's just like, ugh. Yeah. But, you know, Tim Burton uh, is, is cool. Do you remember the, uh, and it's just one scene in the movie, but the old Willy Wonka. Oh, we're yeah. Going through the boat ride. Oh, yeah. We watched that in school. I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> this wasn't in the book. <laughs> yes. Oh, that one was good. I liked it more than the new one, but like the yeah. new one was fine. But oh, that old one with um, Gene Wilder. Fuck. Amazing movie. Mm-hmm. Amazing movie. Very good. The guy who plays like his informant or whatever, oh, the, the guy <laughs> with the glasses. That, he, that guy creeped me out when I was a kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And again, like I said in, uh, for the Exorcist uh, episode, Jeopardy Dubs did a dub. A yes. Lot, the watch along of um, the Trolling Chocolate Factory. Yes. They cut it down just to, you know, clips of it, of them reacting, but oh, it was funny. They acted like he was uh, like this Nazi guy. And he yeah. was. He, yes. he had a huge you know, Nazi influence or yes, feel. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, give me your chocolate recipe and uh, it will spare you. <laughs> Belong to your child, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. I don't know. Those were good. Jeez. Yeah, so Psycho Gorman. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So when did you hear, first hear about this movie? Oh, I think it was on YouTube. Oh, I think that that might have been where mine was too. Because I think, I don't know if I told you about it, you told me about it. As soon as I found out, I'm like, okay, Alana's going to love this. Yes. And yeah, text- you sent me the clip. Yeah. Yes. I was like, oh, I've seen this. And it looked so good. It looked so good. Yes. I can tell you, it was, I thought it would be a little different. Uh, yeah. a little, it, it, for the movie, I kind of had an idea how it was going to play out. Sure. But watching it, it was good. Yeah. Uh, just not quite what I was expecting. Yeah. I but I didn't think it... The, the trailer kind of gave good. away a good bit of the plot. Of course. Uh, but... For some of some things, well, I also haven't seen the trailer for a while. That was like 2019, I think, or 2020 yeah. was out. Right. And it, it showed a bit, but it also hid a few things. I was surprised by, like, the council. I didn't mm-hmm. realize them. The the angelic um, Templars. Yeah. That was, if it was in the trailer, I forgot about yeah. it. Yeah, religious undertones all over this movie. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There, there's a good scene I will mention that <laughs> happens later on. Um, but, yeah, it's... Great movie. 
Yeah, it was fun. It's it's one of those movies that you can just sit down and laugh and eat a bowl of popcorn and afterwards yep. be like, that was fun. Yeah. You it's, know, it's entertaining. It's nothing serious whatsoever. No. Was it the best movie I've seen in a long time? No, it wasn't perfect. Like It no. wasn't a, like, oh, I'm going to tell all my friends about it. But it was really fun. It was fun. A good Halloween movie. Like, I would put it on for Halloween if I had people coming over. Oh, yeah. If it wasn't COVID, you know? Yeah. yeah. And, like, it's it's the language keeps it, you know... For your young teens can watch yeah, it. Absolutely. The violence is not over the top or it doesn't look real enough. Right. That you know, people are like, oh my God, like well, we can't watch this. It's <laughs> it's so over the top. They're like, yes. oh, that guy's head exploded. Sorry, that guy's too. Ha. Yeah. Cool. Exactly. Yeah. It's very like if you think uh like Kill Bill and the Crazy 88, like that oh, yeah. sort of yeah. Quentin Tarantino-esque over the topness. Yeah. And that's without it's nothing that, that I think would be like, oh, this will scar your children for life. No. No, no, no. It's no. so mild, I think. Yeah. There's no no sexual overtones at nope, all in the movie. Nothing. Um, it, it's, it's almost like it's an adult kid movie. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the children, main characters yeah. are children. Yeah. And like bad kids. And it's oh, yeah. hilarious. <laughs> it is. Oh, it's I, wish I, I wish I thought of Crazy Ball. Right. Oh my God. Crazy ball looks like so much fun. Yeah. Also the, um, you've watched Bob's burgers like parts. Yes. Yeah. I've seen it. The girl reminds me so much of Louise. <gasps> yes. Like, like so much of Louise. Yes. I see Like that just now. the bully for no reason and just controls her siblings yeah. and it's hilarious. You can tell me what to do. Yes. I do what I want. Yes. Now bow. Yeah. And I'm, you know, have a murderous intent for an eight-year-old, and that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, no, it was good. It Aww. was so good. Well, since we're talking about the characters, let's get into it. Okay, so this little movie stars, and her in her first movie ever, uh, Nita Jose Hanna as Mimi. Yes, as the, the, younger the sis- little girl. The yeah. young sister. The, the young psycho sister. <laughs> uh, Owen Meyer as Luke, her brother, who's always kind of bugged and teased and bullied by her. Mm-hmm. Uh, Matthew Ninabar as Psycho Gorman, or PG. Stephen Valos as the voice of Psycho Gorman. He did such a good job. He did a great so job. So guttural and yes. creepy and... Yeah. Oh. I will kill you. Yeah, yeah. I will kill you. He just did it to parents. Yeah. I will kill you. <laughs> no, he won't. He's, he's, he's just joking. joking. I will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Adam oh. Brooks as Greg the father, who is lazy. Oh, my God. And is kind of a big suck. So good. He did such a good... The parents are just trash. Like, you realize why the kids the, are so bad. They're trash, but they're good parents. Oh, absolutely. Good parents. Yeah. But uh, just, like, horrible humans. And oh, I yeah. love that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alexis Hansi as Susan, that's yes. the mom. Yep. Uh, Kristen McCullough as mm-hmm. Pandora, and she and was, she was Alistair's mom too. That's what she was. Yes. yes. Yeah. Alistair's yep. mom. Yeah. So it was cool. So you get to see her. Alistair's mom isn't until the very, very end, but yeah. you get to see her as Pandora, who is the like in quotations antagonist yeah. of the movie, and she's like really interesting armor like all completely white armor and like these cool like eye things and very well, you don't see her eyes her eyes are covered like, right it's, but like um, shieldy sort oh, of yeah it's almost yeah. like she's wearing like like her body's armor yeah it's very angelic and, me- and me- like angelic think. and like um mechanical almost right but i think it's supposed to represent you know light and dark right like oh, she's yeah. completely white and pg is completely dark oh, and he talks about being in hell and all that sort yeah. of stuff and she talks about you know the gods yep. and, oh yeah oh yeah 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 and and yeah and i have uh Reese Presley as Chad Thug 1 and Rich Evans as Death Trapper and those those were just sure. random yeah trappers. whatever yeah, it was good. It was um, the characters, like the acting in this was really fun. And they oh, yeah. did such a good job. Like, I think the little girl, she went over the top. But I think that her character was supposed to be over the yes. top. So I, I, I picked that it. up right away. Like, right, you know, she was, for her first acting, she was a little, I don't want to say stiff. There's a little rough around the edges. Yes. And I get that. And it was for, like, you know, yeah. the forest. But you know what? That worked with the character. Because exactly. she's such a... Um, confident you know forceful yes. little bratty girl yes. who always gets her way that's exactly. how they're going to react that's how they're going to act 
Yeah, and it's funny in the beginning, and then it kind of, like, it gets a little, like, okay, we get it, you're a bully, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But as it goes on, it's kind of like, like, it's funny, and it's just, like, how much she doesn't care about people getting, like, massacred around her. She's yeah. just like, yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> and, and, like, her and her brother have seen multiple people die in this movie, and yes. they are not traumatized or bothered at all. at all and yet that's what he tells them i think with i forget which death th- it's um after he eats the his lieutenant oh right yeah, yeah. so you'll be like, traumatized for yeah, life so you, you will move. never unsee what you have just you know <laughs> and they're okay. like okay she's like okay Can we let's go, go home PG. Now? yeah yes. <laughs> <sighs> she's, she's so bland and, and blah about it yes or, or, or she's not bland but she's very at peace yeah like she she doesn't let it bother her Right. She's too busy worried about herself. Yeah. Which is, like, it's it's interesting. I think that we're more used to kids being, like, scared or something like that. Yeah. And this movie and where it's literally the exact opposite is interesting. Yeah. And she, at the beginning, she was she showed a bit of fear. Yeah. When, you know, the monster thing showed up, or not showed up, when they uh, <laughs> dig the hole, find the, the yes. gem, take that, and some of the monster, and they, they're in bed. Yeah. You know, the, the brother, he's kind of freaking out about, you know, the monster's real. And dad's like, well, <laughs> people are sometimes referred to as monsters. And I was like, oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up, Greg. And then she asked the same thing, you know, to the daughter. She's like, uh, yes and no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah. It was cool. It was I, good. It was yeah. Good. Yeah. Good, good acting. It was. I'm... I'm glad that they cast all these people. I think the mom and the dad were like some of my favorites. So. Oh, yes. Oh, so good. So, like they, so good. They know about Crazy Ball. They know about... Yeah. Like they let their kids play out in like about the night. Yeah. Um, you know, hitting each other, you know, throwing balls at each other. They're like, as long as they're not, you know, enough to go to the hospital, yep. go hard. Have yep. fun. Have fun. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I would be as a parent if... If I had kids in the future, <laughs> I would be, you know, yeah, just come back by nine. Don't, don't be bloody. Yeah. Respect others. Now go get fucked up. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, let's get into the plot. Okay, into the plot. So, after an intense match of their homemade game, Crazy, Crazy Ball, Ball, siblings Mimi and Luke discover a strange glowing gem in the grave that Luke had been forced to dig by domineering <laughs> Mimi for losing. Yes, yep, that he was the, the game, is that the winner, um, I forget what the winner gets, but the loser had to um, they, dig their own grave and be buried alive. They, they, they change, I think, every game. Yes, yep. Yeah, yep. yeah so, so he lost, and he dug his own grave. <laughs> and they found this glowy gem at the bottom. Yep. And Mimi's like, um, he's like, I'll press it. He's like, no, I won. I get to press it. So she does some random just buttons. Gem pops out. She takes it inside and I'm like, okay, you should maybe fill it in. Yeah. And they did. And then yeah. went to bed. And in the morning, that, sorry, that night, um, an alien monster emerges from the hole. The monster enters an old shoe factory and brutally kills a group of thieves hiding out there. Yes. Except for one, he keeps alive in a tortured form as art. Ugh, and it's like, so he's all like melty and goopy and his eyes are like flash white and black yeah. and he's just kind of like, ugh, it's yeah. gross. He's just kind of like leaning there and it's like, ooh, okay. Yeah. And we get a good start at, or a good, you know, first glance at yes. Psycho Borgam's powers. Exactly, uh, yeah. He's got some telekinesis, uh, he's overly strong, mm-hmm. and he's got a thirst for blood and yes, killing. Yes, exactly. He just pulls these two guys' heads off and the third guy, he tries to, you know, he brings a knife out. It's like, what are you going to do with that? He just drops it. Mm-hmm. Because you have some sort of uh, um, a defense. Like, you, you yep. tried. I will let you live. Yeah, well, he forever. was like, I don't want to die. And he's like, oh, <laughs> oh yes, yes. well, then you can live forever. Yeah. And That's right. he's like, oh, and then it's like, ugh. Yeah, no, no good. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, Mimi and Luke follow a trail to the shoe factory, discovering the monster. Because in the morning, they wake up and there's a huge hole. Yes. And the parents are like, well, somebody's going to have to fill it in. And it's not me and it's not her. It's you guys. Yeah. And they go to school. We see Mimi still a big bully to her brother. Yeah. 
and uh, they, we meet Alistair. We meet Alistair, yeah. who's kind of a crush on Vio for Mimi. Yeah, she's like he's friends with. I forget the brother's name, Luke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even you forget his name. I know. <laughs> the boss forgets Luke's name. You forget <laughs> Luke's name. And... So he's friends with Luke, but Mimi has like a crush on him, and they kind of talk about it later. And he's like, "Well, you love him," and she's like, "No, I don't. I just want to get married and spend he's, forever with him." Who's like, gonna marry him? Uh. We'll be together forever, and we'll argue every day like mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. 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 Okay then. <laughs> uh. So, and then also we, um, oh, that's coming up here. Um, the monster identifies himself as Archduke of Nightmares. Yes. A deadly alien warrior imprisoned on Earth after attempting to destroy the galaxy in a rampage. Uh, he prepares to kill the children only to discover Mimi is in possession of the gem which allows whoever wielding it to command him. Mm-hmm. Excited at this opportunity, Mimi dubs Alien Psycho Gorban, or PG for short, yes. and quickly gets to work commanding PG around despite Luke's concerns, which I don't blame him. Yeah, absolutely. And, and he tries you know, so much. Yeah. You know, I will kill you. No, you won't. <laughs> you will die and, and suffer eternal pain. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> like she's so bossy with him. And he's, exactly. And because she has a gem, he has to listen and command. Yes. Um, we also find out, meanwhile, a group of aliens called the Planetary Alliance mm-hmm. discover PG has escaped the imprisonment from when they, ca- they cast him in. Dun, dun, yeah. dun. They send Pandora, a noble warrior and member of PG's mortal enemies, the Templars, yes. to stop PG. Which another huge nod at religion, the Templars. Yes. Uh, Pandora assumes the appearance of a human woman by killing a real one and taking her skin as a suit. Yes. And travels to Earth. It's what? creepy how she does it. She like, and there's a little stop motion like claymation. Dude. Yes, yes. There's a little stop motion guy. Yeah, she that summons, flies so, in. What what is he from? What's the how much like? They're a human. It's Earth. Okay, bring one here. Yeah. So she teleports this woman from Earth. She's like, what's going on? And she lies. She really lies to her. You're fine. You'll be safe. Yeah. Puts her in this like a uh, a cube or like uh, surrounds her in a cube. Yeah. Uh, and then, like, squishes it down. Compacts her basically. Yeah. Compacts her to like a hand sized cube. Yeah. And then smushes it and smears it on her face. And then she becomes, she starts to transform into that woman. Yeah, which it's interesting. Like, it's a cool concept. And it's cool how they did it. Yeah. So, which again, with the practical effects, like, it's so neat. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> it's one and of the it's f- fun. Well, even, even though I think it's CGI, but it's one of the few bits yes. of CGI in this right. movie. Which yeah. is good. Mm-hmm. That's what makes it so good, is the lack of CGI. Yes. Uh, Mimi and Luke introduce their friend Alistair to PG. Which is funny. Such a good part. Yeah. PG tells the children how he was a slave to the Templars on his home planet, Gigax. Yes. To build temples to their gods until he discovered the gem which bonded with him, giving him endless strength and power. Mm -hmm. He assembled an army called the Paladins of Obsidian and overthrew the Templars. Filled with bloodlust, PG vowed to destroy the galaxy until the Templars and Planetary Alliance worked together to steal the gem and seal PG so he can suffer eternally. Woo! Uh, and it's, <laughs> he has, it's like a big story yes. moment. He's, he's got a big backstory, and halfway through, Mimi kind of coughs and spits out a, a weird tasting candy. Candy, yeah. And puts it in. And now, when he's done, <laughs> she's like, yeah, okay, that's boring. Here, watch some TV. We'll see you later. Spits yes. out some more um, candy, and they leave. And um, when they first get there, they bring him a TV and some magazines. And she's oh, like, yes. oh, I'm so sorry that we didn't leave you any pornos last night. And he was like, uh, she's like, but here's some magazines with hunky boys. He's like, I do not need hunky boys. And then the camera zooms in on the page. And he's like. And there's a hunky boy. There's a, there's a nice built guy on the yes. cover. <laughs> or do I? <laughs> and it's so funny. <laughs> it, is a, it is a funny scene. That yeah. is... <laughs> I was like, aw, <laughs> hunky boys saving the day. He likes his hunky boys. Yeah. And then they get the TV working and then yeet out of there. And he uh, uses the TV as a communication device to talk to his paladins. Yeah. And it kind of like the TV gets all drippy and gloopy and they're communicating in a different language and it's kind of yeah. interesting. Yeah, they're, they finally speak a different language, which yes. has been English the whole time. Right. But I don't know alien languages and I'm pretty sure they didn't want to do the whole create a different language and yes. subtitles. Right. So. Um, 
When the children leave PG, leave, PG uses a TV to appear to cast a call for help to the Paladins of Obsidian. Right. Uh, when they get back, the kids give him food and magazines, apologizing for not having porn, <laughs> but pointing out there are some hunky boys. Yeah. Yep, yep, like yep. He said. PG denies being interested in hunky boys, but then rethinks it and admits that maybe he is. Yeah. It's just, it's such a funny scene. So good. Just, he's, you know, so he I do not like hunky boys. Looks back. Or do I? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, Alistair comes to Mimi and Luke's house for dinner. Mimi, who has a crush on Alistair, is annoyed when she is abandoned by the boys so they can play video games. Which is like where you start to see the cracks in Mimi's armor. Where like, yes. you know, as much as she bullies and picks on her brother, she just wants to be included. Yes. And, you know, if she puts up this front, then it's like her feelings aren't hurt when yep. she's not included, right? Because they just want to play video games and she's not invited. No, she's so she has to be sad. the tough girl. Yeah, She exactly. can't show emotions, she can't show feelings, she has to be the tough girl. That's, yes, exactly. That's her armor. Yep, yep. Yeah. Uh, Mimi summons PG to the house and asks him to make Alistair an affectionate playmate. <laughs> PG proceeds to mutate Alistair into a giant brain creature. Yes, yep. Mimi and Luke's parents, Susan and Greg, see PG, and Mimi introduces him to them, showing how she can control him while PG explains that he will bathe in her blood the second Mimi no longer controls him. Yes. They also ignore the new, newly turned into a brain yep. thing, Alistair. Yeah, they just like Not walk over him. once is that seen as a... Bad thing. No. Nope. And is it accepted immediately? Yeah, nobody says anything. Even his parents are like just totally fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> Mimi forces oh. PG to accompany the family on activities and becomes a reluctant friend to the family. Yes. They take him shopping, he gets clothes. Yep. He kills a random woman or girl, girl. on yeah. the street because she makes fun of his car, you know, that's nice a... Nice Halloween mm, costume. And he makes her explode. Yeah, just like... With, with gory bloody bits. Yes! And no one bats it. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. you get, like, usually you get the, like, Terminator 2. Yes. Example. Not once does the Terminator kill, or does Arnold kill yeah. someone in the movie. He shoots him, he doesn't kill. Right. Because he's told, you can't kill anyone. Now, now Mimi, she doesn't think that far ahead. She's no. like, whatever, you know. Yeah. Well, I don't think she genuinely cares. No, no. She cares about <laughs> herself, yep. PG, her family, and maybe Alistair. Yeah. And Alistair. Yep. And, and in that order, and that's it. After that's that, it. There's, a, there's a very, very hard line that she made, and nothing else matters. Exactly. That's it. <laughs> uh, one night, PG communicates to Luke privately through a nightmare, demanding that he steal the gem off Mimi and return it to him. Yes. Promising to spare Luke in his rampage if he does so. Luke refuses, clearly scared of Mimi. Mm -hmm. One day while out with PG and the mutate Alistair playing crazy ball, <laughs> they're trying to explain it to him. He's like, do you understand this? I don't understand this. Yeah, he's like, I don't understand what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Which it's like, it's a pretty intense game, so I get it, but like, oh, yeah. ugh, it's so funny. The kids are approached by two officers who attack PG. PG mutates one of the officers into a deformed biocop. Yeah. He basically turns him inside out. Yeah. While the other officer escapes. While walking in the woods, Mimi jokingly commands PG to kill Luke, upsetting him. Yes. Uh, and they still got the, the cop just following oh him as, God, as a slave. Oh my God, zombie cop. Yeah, and he's got like his gun melded to his hand. Yeah, and he's trying to shoot himself. Yeah, he's trying to shoot himself. So he passes Mimi a note that says, please kill me. Like, it's, and it's she's so mad. funny. She's yeah. mad. She's like, you love me. This is the worst, worst uh, card ever. Mm -hmm. Just, <laughs> it's terrible. It's so good. Oh. Uh, Pandora arrives at the police station and interrogates the officer that escaped PG for information. In the woods, the Paladin's Obsidian arrive in front of the group. Believing he'll be rescued, PG orders them to kill Mimi and Luke, only for the Paladins to reveal that they like life without PG. Yes. And worked with the Templars to overthrow PG. Yep. PG tries to attack them, but Mimi stops him as punishment for commanding the Paladins to kill them. Yeah. Mimi forces PG to apologize, and when he does, allows him to fight back. He then kills the paladins, particularly their current leader, whom he treats to a warrior's death. Yes! Which means eating him alive feet first. Yeah. But is injured in the attack. 
Yes. And this is a great, you know, fight scene, more great costumes. Really good. We got a, a witch um, who's got like a big hood over her face. Yeah. Um, another like a... Like a bucket guy. Yeah. Just filled with heads and goop. Yeah. And like sprays blood on him. Yep. Uh, uh, Dark Scream. Yeah. Who's like kind of the, the king for the current in yes. charge of time. There's a, a something with like that just throws tombstones at yes. him. Yes. He's just, that's yeah. all he does. So tombstones. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's one more. Oh, there's a robot guy with the little oh, robot bird. yes. He's like, he never trusted him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He gets a pretty good death. Too. Yes. It's a good little fight. Um, it, it, like, uh, I forgot to say this before. It, just, it starts off feeling very Power Rangers-y. Yes. Because the music and the fighting. The costumes. The costumes. Like yes. this This is Power Rangers meets Ernest meets a horror movie. Yeah. Yes. I, I Especially with the older Power Rangers shows. Like they got more of the over-exaggerated you know, costumes. The mouse barely move. Yes. This is like most of like the Alien Council. It's... Very, very similar. Yes. It's such like, it feels like such a B-movie vibe, but with like an A-movie cast and like acting, yes. you know, like they yeah. actually tried. Yeah. And it's, <laughs> it's a, fun. It, it's great. The cast yes. works. The script works. It's yes. great. Yes. Susan and Greg have another argument over Greg's laziness. Mm -hmm. uh, he, when they were trying to fill in the hole, he sprained his wrist all of a sudden. Yes. Putting the shovel in After the ground. After one, one. One shovel. Shovel, yeah. Yeah. And he like cooks supper in the microwave and he it just sits in mess. front of the TV and does nothing. Like, yeah. ugh. After argument, uh, he's in the bathroom, you know, having his meal. I'm sure a few of us have done that. We've had an argument and, yep. just, you know, we kind of think of after what we should have said and yes. we re reenact that. Of course. He's doing that on the toilet. Mm -hmm. uh, which PJ comes to Greg in a vision demanding he collects him and the children from the woods. Uh, PG, uh, he's hurt, and they need someone to come help bring him home. Yes, because so, the kids are like like eight and ten, like they can't yeah. probably older than that. Like I said in uh, one of our earlier episodes, I don't know kids' ages, but oh, they're 10 like and twelve. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, like children, like too yeah. small to lift a you know entity out yeah. of the woods. Yeah, and and. It, he yells, you know, yells at Greg, gives all the instruction, disappears. He's like, I don't even know what that is. Comes back. It's south of this uh, this location. Yeah. I'm, I'm still lost. And <laughs> he, does, he comes back again and yeah. he, uh, you know, tells him. So you know, take south down Prescott Street and then make a right. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, so good. It's not you know, nice. It's very <sighs> demanding. Yes. It's just so like, that's the part where it's like kind of a scary scene where like he's being screamed at in the bathroom by this like, you know, corporeal head. Yeah. And then it just keeps coming back to give directions. And it's just where they meld that horror and comedy so yep. good. Yeah. Oh, so funny. Yeah. So Greg does so and they drive back to the house where Pandora is waiting with Susan. Yes. Susan suggests they hand over PG to Pandora with Luke rebelling against Mimi and starting with Susan and Pandora. Yes. Greg sides with Mimi and drives away for, with PG, hiding in the shoe factory. Now, also, um, when it comes to talking, you know, he's referring to Mimi. He doesn't remember Luke's, Luke's name. Luke's name ever. At all. At all. Yeah. Until the whole movie. He's like... Yeah. It's like Mimi it, and her just, brother. Yes, kill Mimi and uh, her brother. Yeah. Or, uh, <laughs> thank you, Mimi, um, the, the mother, the father, and... Boy. <laughs> Slurious. Oh. Pandora reveals her true form before transforming Susan into an armored warrior to help take down PG. Yes. It it's kind of cool. She drinks something and then she starts to change and we cut away. Yeah. At the shoe factory, PG states the gem is the only way to heal him, which Mimi agrees to give to him if he spares her and her family. Mm -hmm. But Mimi discovers that she has lost it. Pandora, Susan, and Luke arrive at the shoe factory with Luke being revealed to have stolen the gem. Yeah. Mimi and Luke fight over the gem while Susan and Greg battle over their marriage. Mm -hmm. Luke convinces Mimi that the power of the gem and PG have corrupted her. Yeah. He's not wrong. Which, like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, PG challenges Pandora to a fight according to Templar's code, meaning that Mimi is allowed to select the battle. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I... Uh, before when they meet the police officers, um, they're talking about love. Oh yes. They, uh, they're trying to explain what love is, and he's like, "I have no use for love, only hate and anger and murder." 
they're like, oh, you need that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of a good thing to yeah, have. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, the Mew is allowed to choose a battle. She chooses Crazy Ball. Which, like, obviously. Oh, I call yeah. <laughs> Of course. Mimi's team wins, but Pandora moves in to attack Mimi and PG anyway. Susan uses her powers to save Mimi, but is quickly reverted to human form by an enraged Pandora. Mm -hmm. Luke and Mimi re reconcile, singing a song with Greg and handing the gem to PG, healing him and giving him the power of a god. Yes. It also, when uh, the whole family time... They're in a band, PG's on drums, and they sing a song called Frig yeah. Off. Yeah, Frig Off, Frig yep. You. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... I'm the best. <laughs> yeah. I, I you know, really, really thoughtful lyrics. It's a great song. <laughs> put it on Spotify. Yes. Uh, PG retrieves his power and defeats Pandora, mostly horrified that she has damaged his Hunky Boys magazines yes. in the conflict. Also, she... Um, says how she's got uh, this, you know, you got my, my sword, which is purifying light. What do you have? And he's like, I'll make my own sword. So he goes and rips pieces of her apart. Yes, like pieces of her spine and her bones and her flesh. And yeah, and he makes, his, he makes like, a, a flesh sword. Fleshy sword, yeah. yeah. And Ugh. I think of the whole movie, that is the, the weakest part. Just yeah, because I of agree. her, the actress's, um, this way that it was almost too scripted. Yeah. Again, it, sure. got, it got very Power Ranger-y. Yes. So. Yes. <sighs> Before killing her, he tells Pandora his new name, which he thinks is beautiful. Aw, yes. Because he yes. hears it first. <laughs> yeah, I am Psycho Gorman. And it's she's like, on the ground. That's it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the key, also, uh, Lilo and Stitch. This yes. has This has a more brutal, violent Lilo and Stitch feel to it. Yes. Taken an alien, an alien helps you take down. Yeah. Yeah. It learns love. Yeah, learns love. Learns love, yeah. The kids quickly lead their parents away before they can see the carnage of a warrior's death. <laughs> yes. They saw it, it's in his heat again. Yeah, yeah, that's what they say. Is, yeah, we've seen this once, yeah. you guys don't need and to see this. <laughs> basically, they get the idea from when they're in a fast food. He takes the whole right. you know, tray, opens his mouth wide, a little CGI. And eats it all in eats one. Eats the whole thing. Messily. Yeah. And he does yeah. that same thing with uh, the one lieutenant. Yeah. Um, his, like, his, his giant mouth. It's very similar to underwater. Yeah. When the, okay. monster, when the monsters are eating, the, trying to eat someone, mm -hmm. the mouth just, and just winds right out. Interesting. And, and swallows them whole. Hmm. That's similar to how PG yeah. eats people. <laughs> with teeth, teeth galore. So much teeth. <laughs> PG returns the now powerless gem to Mimi, stating that after witnessing the family's affection for each other, he is now powered by love and he will use that love to destroy the galaxy, but yes. promises to spare the family, not having made any promises about the rest of the planet. <laughs> also, yes. also, when um, he's fighting um, Pandora, uh, Mimi says to Luke, you know, I'm not going to say it, but... They have this uh, knocking kind of Morse code yes. that the parents know, that they know, and she kind of taps out, I'm sorry. Yes. And they have a, you know, the brother, sister, you know, reconcile hug. Yes. It's a little sweet. It's really cute. It's a little sweet. Yeah. She learned her lesson that yeah. she needs to treat him a little bit better. Yeah, and so. he says that too. I wish you'd treat me better. And she, yes. you know, I'm sorry. Yes. Um, the family bids farewell to PG and watches as he begins to destroy their town. Yeah. <laughs> He just takes off and just starts blasting. Just blasting, killing people, yeah. burning buildings. It's so good. And they're just all like having this heartwarming family moment watching him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so ridiculous. What's, what's that? Um, uh, what's it from? Which, uh, it's a show you love so much. Um, uh, it's got uh, Diane, De Don Diane DeVito. Um, so I started blasting. I'm sure it's from one of those shows. You, uh, it's a comedy uh, uh the, the the trailer park one not trailer park boys but the uh the campground one campground oh um campground one well it's, it's like a uh, not a campground per se but um like uh like a park um i think it's about a park is it like a cartoon no 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 it's live action it's on for a few seasons about a park like parks and rec no. sure no no, no. uh so, uh Sunny in California. Oh. It's always sunny in California. Oh, it's that's always sunny, sunny in Philadelphia. That's, yes. 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 Yeah, there's that one part where I'm sure it's, I think, Dan DeVito? Yeah, he's yeah. in that, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah, I think he says in that show, so I started blasting. And that's totally what Psycho Gorman does. <laughs> when I saw that, I'm like, that 
<laughs> came right to mind. Oh, that's one of my favorite shows of all time. Oh yeah. my gosh. I know, I knew you yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wrong about that's Parks okay. and Rec. Different show. Uh, meanwhile, Alistair continues to live as a giant brain mutant yep. while on TV, PG in giant form, fights the army, and in deep space, the Planetary Alliance debates killing themselves before PG can <laughs> reach them. The end. It's such a good ending. They're just all sitting around. And they're like, do, do you think he knows where we are? And they're like, they all just kind of sit there in silence and one of them pulls a gun out and he's like, so... <laughs> Who wants who, to go first? Who wants to shoot themselves first? And the, the robot <laughs> tube lifts, guy lifts his arm. Lifts his arm. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. I guess they only had one scene originally filmed of that. I saw that, yeah. And then they like, they'll have a need more. And I'm glad they did. Yes. It was the a good kind of view. so good. Yeah. Just like the perfect little bits of comic relief, you know, to sprinkle in there. Because they're all just idiots. And yeah. it's just, it's so funny. And they're watching the whole thing as it goes on. And, yes. Oh yeah, it's great movie oh, it's really good it's funny <laughs> so how would you rate it three to five interesting that's exactly what i would I give it three to five yeah I'd, I'd want to give it more but it wasn't if it was more scary it'd yes. get a higher rating yeah um if it was not as entertaining it'd get a lower rating yep but it's, it's entertaining as hell it is it is just a fun movie i got like the practical effects are phenomenal really good yep the music is, is very, uh, it's very 90s. Mm-hmm. 90s music, uh, Power Rangers reminiscent for me. Yes. Um, it's got a great kind of, great story. Lilo and Stitch meets uh, like E.T. meets yeah. the Power Rangers. Yeah. It, it's fun. Like it's adult. not reinventing the wheel by no. any means. Oh, but no. it's such a fun little ride that, yes. you know, you can just, like, buckle in and enjoy it, honestly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I agree. A three is exactly what I would give it to. The, the music is good. The acting is fun. The, you know, the ambiance is interesting. Yep. Like, it's Canadian. It's, oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. I agree. Three out of five. It's Absolutely. A, great. I really suggest it's on Shutter. Yeah. I think it's also for physical release. I saw it in Walmart. Oh. Okay. A, couple, a month or so ago, I'm like, oh, I should get that. I didn't. Also, but, if you have Amazon Prime, you can get a free 30-day Shutter trial. Oh. And, uh, yeah, you can watch it there, too. Yeah. Or, yeah. or rent it. Or, yeah, or illegally stream it. But Yeah. Yeah, that's, we're not going to tell you how, when. If you want to find out, just ask us on Twitter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but there's, there's lots of ways to watch it. It's totally worth it. Totally worth a watch. I yeah, think. if you're looking for something that's not scary, but it's kind of a gory popcorn fest, yep. this is perfect. Exactly. I agree. It yeah. is good. It's a great movie. I, I love it. It's, it was good. <laughs> well, how about The Kill of the Flick? The Ichabod and Anarchy Kill the Flick. I, it originally went to the cop, yep. but he didn't die until later. So exactly. It went to Dark, dark Screen. Oh, the guy who yep, got I eaten. agree. The first guy who got eaten. Um... Yeah, there's it's, also... The, yeah. the warrior's death was so the, good. Yes. Yes. And, it, and it, it, I didn't realize they'd really bring it back. Yes. Because he explained, you know, I, how, you know, we find the most honorable death is to be to eat your enemy. Or yes. to be eaten by your, your, your enemy. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. I didn't think they'd use it again. Yeah, And exactly. of course, twice. And apparently it's well-known and very feared. Because he says it's both right. to Dark Scream yep. and Pandora. Pandora, yeah. Like, you were you've earned a warrior's death. And they're like, no. No, no. And yeah, just, you fought honorably. You yeah. deserve. And they're like, no, please. <laughs> and he eats him. And then he kind of retches and pukes out a bit of blood. And he's like, okay, I'm good now. Yeah. So, oh, full belly. So good. good. to go. Yay. And, yeah, that was, was gross and bloody and wonderful. <laughs> yes. And next week, I already forget what we're watching. <laughs> we just talked about it. Paranormal Activity. Paranormal Activity. Yes. <laughs> sorry, we went, sorry, sorry. so we're going kind of more scary, scary, not so scary. We need to get more scary. It's Halloween. Yes. We, we need, need something. Spookies. We need something that's, and this, this movie was, when I first saw it, it scared me. Yes. And we talked about it on, for the, during the Exorcist, how it took the you can't see a thing, let your imagination run wild. Yes. And it did a fantastic job. For, Absolutely. For the low budget, for the amount of money it made, for the franchise. I think they're doing another one. Oh, for sure. They're just, they just keep going with it. Mm-hmm. It's, 
well, it's such like a, the continuity that they have with the movies is interesting. And like, there's, yes. you know, always the, I mean, there's, we'll talk about it next week, but there's always the, the same um, demon that's in all the movies. And it's yes. interesting. And they're yeah. doing some time travel. Uh, you got to watch them all to understand what the hell's going on. Yes. Yeah. Time travel's not until the last one. But it's um like second last. I know it's in the the kind of the spin off one where it's in Mexico. Yep. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Then, then then one after that, they then kind they of explain it. Yeah. They yeah. reinforce right. it. Yeah. Um. But it's a it's a I think it's a great movie. I agree. I really like it. It's spooky. Yeah. Spooky scary. Spooky and scaries. We're gonna watch it. Woo! And we're gonna talk about it. And we're gonna talk next about week. It. Next week. But thank you so much for joining us this week. This episode was brought to you by our executive producer, Ichabod, and our head of talent relations, Anarchy. We hope you enjoyed your orgasm as much as we did. Don't forget to rate, download, and subscribe. Also, like and follow us on Facebook at Horgasm Podcast, Instagram at Horgasm, Twitter at Gasm Whore, YouTube at the Horgasm Podcast, and Twitch at Horgasm Games. If you have a movie you'd like us to review, this is the best way to let us know. We hope to see you again next week because we have such sights to show you. Plenty of orgasms for your experience. Bye! See ya. <laughs>